Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah 1992 is a follow-up to Godzilla vs. Biollante. Sadly, I am not reviewing Godzilla vs. Bi Biollante because that is the only one I don't own. Because $92 on freaking eBay and Amazon, people. No thank you. Well, this movie is different than all the other Godzilla movies. This movie is more of an origin story serving for King Ghidorah. And is also a time travel movie because awesomeness. But this movie is unique and is a lot of fun. The characters are alright. The voice dubbing for them is alright. It's not as good as Godzilla 19. 85 to me that one's still the superior movie but this one's a lot of fun as well the but the time travel doesn't make a whole lot of sense but you know people assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect but actually from a non-linear non-subjective viewpoint it's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff exactly so Try not to think that hard into the concept of the time travel in this movie, but the origin story of King Ghidorah is kind of a big letdown. King Ghidorah in this movie is really a big letdown because he, he, he pretty much gets his butt beaten just too easily. He's not that threatening, honestly. Godzilla flicks him and he seems like he can die. Like, dude... King of the Monsters builds you up to be this big baddie. It takes lots of monsters team up to take him down. Not freaking Godzilla on steroids taking easy dub. That's why King of the Monsters in the is my favorite. In Final Wars version is my favorite. In the one thing that the all the originals from the 1970s got right is making King Ghidorah OP, but the thing I like about this movie is it gives a different spin on Godzilla's origins. He's a dinosaur from a, an island, and he dies, but the nuclear explosion in 1954 revives him into the new Godzilla, and that is very interesting, and seeing that happen is really fun and just enjoyable. And this movie's all around really fun. Sure, there are, uh, some questionable effects. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's still funny to watch. But, still... Oddly, another funny thing about this movie is this movie predicted the creation of Jurassic Park. I don't know how, but it did, and it's kind of funny. But overall, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah is not as good as Godzilla 1985, but it's still a lot of fun to watch. It put a twist on Godzilla's origins, which I really like. And also... The weakest part about this movie has to be, sadly, King Ghidorah. Because in the other movies, he's OP. He's the big baddie. This one, pretty much the one you flick and he dies. Like, he is that easy to kill in this movie. But overall, I'm going to give Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah an 8 out of 10. It's still a lot of fun to watch and one of my favorites.